What is up everyone? This is Zach Hample back at Camden Yards in Baltimore for the third time this week because I love this place so much. Now it's a Friday today, which means I'm going to get in extra early with the season ticket holders. The weather is great. There should be batting practice, hoping to catch lots of home runs. But I'm going to have some competition from my friends today. My good friend Greg from New York has made the drive down. He's going to be out there in left field early, along with Tim, who's a regular here. We've gotten him in the last few videos. And then there's this dude named Alex, who used to be here all the time. Then he moved away. He's back. So you're going to see all these guys in the video. Greg is going to be here any second. We're going to play catch and then head inside. So here we go. catching home runs, I'm banging my shins on the cup holders. That's pretty much the story of the day. <laughs> Things did not get off to a good start for me today in Baltimore. The first half hour in left field, only a few other guys out there, just season ticket holder access, and I got completely shut out. Now the Orioles were really not hitting that well, very few home runs, but still other guys were catching them. My friend Alex made a nice grab in straightaway left field. My friend Tim was talking some trash, as usual, he got a couple. My friend Greg also got two baseballs, although I do have to say it was kind of funny to see him chasing one down the left field foul line and get beat out by an old guy who was sitting there. As for me, man, this is super frustrating. I'm in my Giants hat right now. The Giants have just taken the field, so we got a little interleague action for you. And just to vent some more frustrations. I get my tickets from various places. Today, walked up to the ticket window here, bought my seats. Five minutes before the gates opened, halfway around the stadium, I realized that they sold me tickets for a game like three days from now. You always gotta check your tickets, and I failed to do that today. So I lost some time. Alex said he found three Easter eggs in left field. So I don't think I'm gonna get shut out because that's almost impossible at Camden Yards because this place is magic. But man, I was hoping for double digits today, and now I'm just hoping to get a few. He's got to get loose. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Wait, how many you got? Four. And how many does he have? Goose egg. That's how my day is going. That's about the best thing I've caught. A cup holder. Thank you. I don't know what happened today here at my favorite stadium, but this was a total disaster for me. The gates opened two and a half hours before first pitch. I saw both teams take full batting practice, and somehow I only managed to get one baseball. Now that one was a home run by Evan Longoria. I caught it on the fly in traffic, kind of robbed my friend Alex on that one, so that felt good. But after that, 
it was just a nightmare. I actually dropped one in nearly the same spot. I jumped for it, it hit off my glove. So lame. Then I headed over to right field to the really awesome spot called the flag court. It's a standing room only section. I've caught lots of baseballs there over the years, both in batting practice and during the game. But it was just a zoo. It's a Friday night, the weather's perfect, interleague action, the San Francisco Giants travel well. There were a lot of guys out there. There were guys who were taller than me, jumping up, robbing me of baseballs. Baseballs were ricocheting all over the place, and I just couldn't get a good play on one. And that's it, I ran down to the Giants dugout at the end of batting practice. They didn't toss up anything. Now all these kids were coming up to me today, telling me how many baseballs they got. Guess what? Everybody got more baseballs than me, from the little kids all the way up to my friends. So I'm feeling like a big dummy right now. But hey, it happens. I avoided the shutout, at least. But I'm feeling pretty bummed, so you know what that means? It's time to eat my sorrows away. How many, picks, how many balls did you get? How many baseballs today? I hate having to answer this question today. I got one baseball. Only one? One Only baseball. One. Got one. Only one. That's what people say because, yeah, it was a tough day today. Yeah. Yeah. You bother me for a picture? Yeah, let's do it. No, no bother at all. Ready, Nate? Yeah. Here we go. Smile big, Nate. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, right. I'm gonna shake your hand. That. Thank you so much. Take I appreciate that. Yeah, you might see yourself in the video. Awesome. We'll look out for it. He'll cool. see it. <laughs> You know what? That makes me feel a lot better. That kind of erases the bad taste of batting practice somewhat. I've been to this stadium many times. This is my 70th game here. So of course I've eaten lots of different food and today I wanted to try something new. So there's this dumpling place out on Utah Street near the flag court called Pinch. It was actually suggested by my friend Joey, who's right here. We've gotten him in the last few videos here from Baltimore. This is his wife, Sasha. I think this might be her YouTube debut, at least for my channel. She's been in Joey's YouTube videos, right? Yeah. So I got some beef and onion dumplings, got some, what is it, carrot and cabbage for my videographer, Ian, who, like I said, does not eat meat. You guys got the... Same as you. No, you got the pork and cabbage. All right, let's do it. Dumpling time, dumpling time, dumpling time! I gotta be honest, I love Joey, but I don't love these dumplings. They're really not that great. Sorry. I think you're just bitter because you didn't get that many baseballs today. I am bitter, but I do know my food, and these dumplings leave a lot to be desired. Look, I live in New York City. I go to Chinatown. I've had the best pork soup dumplings. I don't want to say in the world because I feel like you should probably go to China and eat the dumplings there, but I don't know. I don't want to be too negative, but I feel like in every video, I always take a bite and I'm like, oh, oh, I'm like freaking out. Like, it's the best thing. But let's be real, you know, these dumplings are... I don't know, what do you think about the dumplings? They seem a little undercooked, like a little doughy. They are doughy. You know what doughy rhymes with? Joey. <laughs> Just before the game started, I headed all the way around the stadium to the third base side to see the Giants come out. My videographer Ian stayed in right field, got some shots of me from afar, nice and zoomed in. I was getting some sick shots through the protective netting with my iPhone, saw Mike Yastrzemski out there getting loose and some other guys. Now Yastrzemski actually came up in the Orioles organization, the grandson of Hall of Famer Carl Yastrzemski, and get this, he has zero career home runs. So anytime a guy comes up and he's got a goose egg in that category, I'm always on the lookout. So. I have seats out in left field, but security is pretty chill out here in right field. So when Yaz comes up and this game is just getting underway, gonna maybe go down into the seats. I feel like I'd rather hang out in the flag court. If you wanna actually follow me around this way, I'll just show you again what it looks like. We'll do a whole 360. There's so much space here. And if you keep coming right into the sun, let's just do it. The two guys over here, those are my buddies. Wave to the camera, guys. It's Tim and Alex. So, 
they are both really good at catching home runs. Alex kind of hangs out in that spot. He's the one in the orange shirt. Tim is wearing the slightly pinker salmon-colored shirt, and he was in the middle of the flag court, so I think I might give them some space, go down into the seats, and yeah, hopefully Yaz gets a hold of one. And if I don't catch it, I hope one of my friends do. And then when the Orioles are up, might head over to left field. It's definitely more crowded tonight than it was the last couple nights here, so you know, that's what I get, again, for picking a Friday night against the Giants. We'll see how this goes. Hey, Al, we're just staring at it. <laughs> hey, Al. What's up, everybody? Can I get a picture? Can I get a picture? Wait. That was Yastrzemski's first home run, and that dude caught it. And that's exactly where I was sitting for his first at bat, and here I was up on the flag court. Look, there goes security. They're gonna go get someone to retrieve that ball. I mean, five feet from where I was sitting, his first at bat, and I was like, nah, the row filled up a little bit. Boom, the guy catches it. Good for him, man. Yeah, people are looking at it. Get a shot of that. I mean, wow. Security's going to come down any second and talk to him. The first inning of this game took nearly 45 minutes to play. That's because there were 11 total runs scored. The Giants put up a five spot and the Orioles answered with six. It's now the bottom of the third. The O's are on top, eight to six. That grand slam earlier, deep to center field, was hit by Dwight Smith Jr. I still have just one baseball. I think I'm the only person, the only entity in this whole stadium that has failed to put up a crooked number. So I just had to get away from right field for a while, came out to left, just checking out the bullpen. You know, even though it's been a tough day for me here and it's more crowded, it's still such a chill stadium. I love being here. Maybe I'll still get lucky at some point today. If I don't catch another ball, so what? Kept the streak alive. I'm still at a baseball game, right? Yeah, sure thing.
This smart stuff is going to catch without a glove. And he has one. Where's the biggest one? And she pulled this one out from the back. <laughs> Look at the size difference right here. Look at that. That's a whole pizza. Oh. <laughs> you just made his day. <laughs> oh yeah. Why not? It's that kind of night. So I had a little accident. Pizza grease, no joke. Ran to the bathroom, soap and water, hope that works. And now, some dessert. Seven dollars for this, can you believe it? Good though. We have a final here in Baltimore. The Orioles won this game by the score of 9 to 6, and this was a really strange day. From a baseball catching perspective, it absolutely sucked for me. But in terms of hanging out with friends and stuffing myself with food at an amazing stadium, it was actually pretty great. Props to my friend Greg, who got more foul balls tonight during the game than I got during the entire day, including batting practice. Nice seeing him and catching up with everyone else, including Alex, Tim, Joey, and Sasha. By the way, the three autographs I got today on my ticket were Reyes Maranta, Tyler Beatty, and Derek Rodriguez. That was pretty cool. And as for my lifetime baseball total, it just crept up a little bit. Just that one baseball, can you believe it? At least I avoided getting shut out. So the lifetime number is now 10,842. Weird week here in Baltimore. Three games with that game in Reading in between. Not sure if I'll be back this year. I hope so. Probably not for at least a month or two, but we'll see what happens later in the summer. And right now, got a three hour drive back home to New York. So I'm out. Thanks for watching.